Hey guys, Keith from Kegland, and today we're talking about air stills. I think air stills are an awesome product in the sense that they're so easy to set up. So for people getting into distillation, you just whack it on the bench top, put some spirit in here, turn it on, and away you go. You, normally for most of our other large format stills, like the Poly Phoenix or the Alco Engine, or even some of the other ones on the website, you would have to get water coolant running through the head of the still, whether it's the pot still or some type of reflux still, that's always the case with those large format stills. But with air stills on the other hand, you simply plug them in and they use air to cool down the product, make it really, really easy to set up and very neat and easy to store. You don't have all these, you know, hoses running all over the place, extra taps or water tanks that you have to recirculate for, from uh, with water pumps and that type of thing. So this particular unit is the Still Spirits Air Still. We've been selling this on the website for a little while now, but there are also some limitations with air stills too. Now, air stills typically, you know, one of the main issues is the size of them. Like all of the air stills currently on the market are quite small. Generally they've got a boiler of about five liters like this one. So size is certainly an issue. The second limitation of air stills is that they don't really get azeotrope. So what I mean by azeotrope is 96% because that's considered pretty much as high as you can get at atmospheric pressure. Um, so without using vacuum distillation and stuff like that, azeotrope is the best you're gonna get essentially at 96%. And the problem with that is air stills are generally a substantial amount below that. So this little unit here is about 90%. And even though that doesn't sound like much, like I know there's ways that you can squeeze a bit more out of this uh, still spirits air still. For instance, if you take out the packing um, and put in our SPP packing rather than the saddles that come out of the box with this, immediately your air still will go up by 2%. So look, that's one way you can trick it up, but it's still only gonna get about 92% rather than 96%. Now you're probably thinking, well, that sounds pretty close, you know, 92, 96, what's the difference? But the reality is every small percentage you get towards 96 makes a massive difference in the purity of the end product. So if I'm going from let's say 92 to 94%, even though it only sounds like 2%, the impurities in that bit that's left in the final spirit, um, it's half as much. So it's, it's a massive difference. If you're trying to make a neutral vodka base, and a lot of people who are using these air stills are using it to make a neutral base for essences, then I would say getting that you know, purity right up there is very, very important. The other thing is safety. A lot of people getting into home distillation, they worry about blowing the house up and ethanol fumes and stuff like that. So that's something we also wanted to fix. So the size, getting azeotrope, and also improving the safety is something that we've achieved with our new Poly Phoenix air still unit. So this is our unit here, which we just finished. Look, we're still gonna keep selling the uh, Still Spirits one on the website because some people do like that one. But this one, as you can see, it looks very similar, but it's got several fundamental differences and improvements that we've made to it, which I'm gonna to talk to you in this video. So similarly to the Still Spirits Air Still, the Poly Phoenix Air Still has a lot of the same types of features. Firstly, when you take the lid off like that, you can see it's got a gin basket in there. So that gin basket you can fill up with your own botanicals and then that will be basically infused into the vapor stream for the vapor which is coming through here. The other thing it's got is the four shots collector. So basically this automatic will take you four shots into this little container here. And it's got a little valve mechanism which shuts off when this is removed. So that is another handy little feature. Um, another feature is it's also got the uh, reflux column built into this side piece here. So the reflux column in ours is slightly taller, meaning you will get, because the whole unit is slightly taller, that'll give you slightly more pure results. Um, and also the nipples on the output are also interchangeable. So you can unscrew these nipples. It comes with two different size nipples um, as standard. One thing that we actually got recommended to do, and this was some advice from the portly gentleman. He found that he used the Steel Spirits product and said, oh, it's kind of annoying, these are really easy to lose. Um, so what we did is we decided to put some storage actually in the top of this uh, part here. So you can just take that off. This will secure onto that little cap there and you just put it there and then the spare nipples are sort of stored away in the top of the unit there for you. Another thing you'll notice is it's got this little display here, which is kind of handy. Look, I know some people with the Still Spirits one might just prefer the simplicity of just pressing a button and you either put it in pot 
pot mode or reflux mode. But with our unit, it's got a full digital uh, OLED display, so you can actually program exactly where you want your cutout to be, so where it will turn off, while with the Still Spirits product, it has a preset one, which basically that's all it does. It just goes up to that level and then shuts off. Now, this is kind of handy if you're really wanting to tweak the settings a little bit. I know, for instance, if you you know you've got a wash which is particularly nasty and you don't want the uh, Still to be going all the way right into the tails because you know you've got a lot of fusel oils, for instance, what what you can do is tweak the temperatures and cutout points so it'll get up to let's say you know 80 degrees celsius or whatever or maybe 78 degrees celsius or whatever and then the temperature will cut out and not collect anything after that point so having a screen is kind of handy this one also connects the internet and logs all that stuff uh, up onto the wrapped platform as well so if you're the kind of person who likes to look back at previous batches see how they ran and stuff like that it's got some interesting stuff there now another feature we decided to do and this is one which really helps the safety is this controller at the front here has this funny little grill and you're probably thinking, what's that for? Well, that is actually an ethanol sensor. So if you happen to have a situation where you've got a vessel here and it's overflowing and alcohol spilling all over the bench, you really want the entire process to shut down. Now, even though all of these air stills in the instruction manual says, do not use unattended, look, the reality is it's a process that takes several hours to complete and there's probably a lot of people who just walk away and read the paper or not keeping you know, a real eye on this all the time. And you know, having a little ethanol sensor enables us to do a couple of things. Now on the, on the screen here, you can set the uh, still to actually turn off if the ethanol level rises above a certain threshold. Now that threshold's programmable by you, so you can put whatever in there. Um, but the other thing is you can also program it to turn off the boiler if you want it to. So that way, if you happen to walk away, go to the supermarket, walk the dog, which would be against the instruction manual, of course. But if you happen to do that, then the hold still would shut down if something was overflowing on this side or something like that. So as I was saying, our Poly Phoenix boiler is six litres, while the Still Spirits boiler is only five litres. And even though that's one liter larger or 20% bigger, you know, I still find that boiler still to be a bit on the small sides for me. To put that in perspective, that'll make you about maybe three bottles of spirit or something like that. And if I'm gonna go through all the heartache of making spirits from scratch, I generally wanna make a decent sized batch unless I'm doing a small amount of testing or something like that. So what we wanted to do was make sure our, you know, air, you know, still spirits head could go onto traditional larger size boilers. So boilers like our Digiboil 35 litre or even our um, Brazilla, for instance. As you would know, all our Brazillas and stuff like that have distillation lids that go on top and they go to various different size triclover clamps. So as you can see, our air still head, it can come off this small boiler and then go onto a traditional size boiler. So because we've got these toggle clamps here, We've got a lot more customization with how we can sell accessories down the track. So as you can see, just by putting it on this boiler and doing up these clamps here, what I can do is get this air still head and attach it to my Brusilla 35, for instance. Same thing goes for if I've got like a Digiboil, I can also use the you know same lid and attach it to that as well. So lots of different options down the track. The other thing is this finally allows us to get azeotrope. As I was saying before, you know, inside the air still, air still column, we've got a small column in here, which is about 30 centimeters long. So if I was to only use that column, the problem is I'm never gonna get, you know, a 96% out of that column height. It's just not long enough. Really to get azeotrope, the column really needs to be closer to like a meter. So what I can do is actually have additional parts of my reflux column externally from the, from the air still head. So instead of just relying on this very compact little um, you know, reflux column, I've got extra pieces here. And at the moment, I've got them filled with SPP. Now you could put in any type of packing or column here as well. I could get a smaller, you know, one and a half inch or two inch triclover tube and put that on there if I really wanted to. But as soon as you got this piece here, essentially it goes into a triclover clamp. You can attach a whole bunch of other accessories. So I could even use the Poly Phoenix gin baskets. Um, another thing I could do is, is use bubble capper plates. So it really opens up this particular air still to a much wider range of accessories and stuff that you can do. So you get all the benefits of the convenience of using air. However, you get all the options of using a traditional full size still. Uh, and being, you, know, you can do bigger batches, you can get azeotrope finally, and then you can use things like bubble cappers and make really great whiskies from scratch as well.
Now with both of these stills, there's no way to really see IP them. So, you know, in my opinion, I really think you have to take the packing out of the column to really clean it thoroughly. And it's quite important if you're making azeotrope or really neutral spirit, for instance, for essences, because if you get a little bit of fusel oils in the packing, that just carries over to the next batch. And that really can be kind of nasty. So I would recommend taking the packing out. Now, this is something which also was indicated by another one of our customers, Paul, who came up with an idea and said, if you guys are gonna make a new still, what you should do is make sure you make it easier to take the packing out of the column, which is exactly what we've done on the new Poly Phoenix air still. So with the old still spirits one, what you do is you would take it off like this, and if you turn it upside down, you basically, this one's got a full column of packing. As you can see, I've got a little bit just came out, but it doesn't all come out. And that's because there's a funny little overhang on the inside of this unit. And as you can see, you can sort of shake it up and down, but it takes a long time to get all of that packing out of the still. And it's kind of frustrating, especially as it gets towards the last few bits, it almost feels like it takes forever to take all the packing out of the column. Now with the Poly Phoenix Air Still, we've taken Paul's recommendation. That's one of our customers. So thank you, Paul, for giving us this tip. And what we've done is we've put this cap on the underside of the column. So see right down there, we've got like this little stainless steel bung, which you can undo. So what I'm gonna do, and this is what I would recommend you guys do at home, is get like a grain bag. These grain bags are really cheap. They sell them on our website. A lot of you guys might already have them if you've done a bit of all grain brewing. Put it over a bucket like that, and then get the air sill over this bucket like so, and then just undo that cap, and you'll see how easily all the packing just comes out in three seconds. Just go like this, and the bung will fall into the bucket, and a few more turns like that. There we go. And all of that packing has just come out of that still. So there's nothing left in here. And you can see all of that's in there. So now what, what I would do is recommend getting this bag, uh, closing it up, tying a knot like this, and then simply sticking this entire bag inside your dishwasher. So, you know, nothing quite cleans like a good dishwasher. So you basically chuck that in the dishwasher, you take it out and it'll be, you know, beautifully clean um, and then pour it back into the top of the column. Obviously remember to put that bung back in. So that should give you a brief overview of how the Poly Phoenix Air Still works. We'd love to hear some comments here on what distillation runs you wanna see on the channel. So I can run through that with this bad boy and show you how to put this thing into action. Anyway, if you wanna sign up to our Facebook group, that'd be great. Just search uh, Homebrew Community Group, Kegland Homebrew Community Group, and join that one. And of course, subscribe to this video, bottom right hand corner, so you can see cool new videos when we bring out stuff like this. Make sure to hit that bell icon so you get notified when new videos land. Anyway, that's it, and hope to see you next time. Bye.